Hi everyone. I hope you all are doing good. In my today's session, I'm going to uh, explain a error scenario and the possible solution for that. Okay. The error scenario is invalid operation exception. The configured execution strategy, SQL Server retrying execution strategy, does not support user initiated transactions. Use the execution strategy returned by DB context dot database dot create execution strategy to execute all the operations in the transactions as a retriable unit. Okay, so very simple. Basically, what Entity Framework Core is saying that when you have enabled uh, the retry mechanism in entity framework core and if you try to execute user transactions then there is a possibility that on the failure of on the connection resilience resiliency related error or when you lose the connection okay you will end up in receiving this exception that it can't retry the user initiated transactions okay so that is the error case because ef doesn't handle the user initiated transactions by default so reason the exception occurs when you have enabled retry mechanism in EF core for connection resiliency. User initiated transactions are not supported when you have configured an execution strategy that results in retries basically. Okay, There are some limitations around the use of transactions. By default, EF will perform any database updates within a transaction. You don't need to do anything to enable this. EF always does this automatically. So it will automatically construct a transaction for you in order to do any update or inserts. For example, in the following code, okay, let me show you that. See, the save changes is automatically performed within a transaction, okay? Can you see this? I have used a using block inside that. I'm constructing the school DB context and then I'm putting some students into the class table basically and calling the save changes, okay? So, this will be automatically executed in a transaction. That is a SQL server transaction, okay guys? So, what they are saying is, if save changes were to fail after insert inserting one of the new student okay after inserting one record if it saves then the transaction would be rolled back and no changes applied to the database so after inserting a student called manoj okay while inserting suraj if there is an exception then the record manoj will be removed from the database table okay it will be kept as a clean slate as it was before okay so what will happen the new student then the transaction would be rolled back and no changes applied to database the context is also left in a state that allows save changes to be called again to retry applying these changes so it's like before applying these changes uh, your db context will be in that state and once again it will try to insert these two records once the connection is established by retry mechanism okay now when not using a retrying execution strategy, you can wrap multiple operations in a single transaction. For example, one of the following code wraps two save changes call in a single transaction. If any part of either operation fails, then none of the changes are applied. Can you see this? Now a little modified uh, code snippet over here where I'm not using retry mechanism. Okay, I'm not using retry mechanism, but using this uh, using construct, yes, I can make a call to multiple save changes. This particular code block will work when I am not using any retry mechanism okay so any one of these operation fails basically it will remove it will basically roll back all the changes it has applied okay so that is the behavior when I am not using retry mechanism but the same above code is not supported when using a retrying execution strategy because EF is not aware of any previous operations and how to retry them. For example, if the second save changes, that is this one, failed, then EF no longer has the required information to retry the first save changes. Okay, it doesn't have information about these two records. Okay, in order to call it once again after establishing a new connection with the database. So, what is the solution? Well, solution is we need to manually call the execution strategy. Okay, in case of not having our retry mechanism, SQL Server used to create a transaction for you automatically and execute the things. But and also when the transaction failed due to some reason, it would have automatically rolled back those changes. But when you are using a retry mechanism, then the solution is to manually use the execution strategy and give it the entire set of logic to be run so that it can retry everything if one of the operation fails when an execution strategy derived from db execution strategy is running it will suspend the implicit execution strategy used in save changes 
mark this statement guys when an execution strategy is derived from db execution strategy is running it will suspend the implicit execution strategy which is used by save changes okay by default it uses a implicit or default execution strategy that will not be used okay it will be suspended and one most important thing in order to execute your manually created execution strategy is that note that any context should be constructed within the code block to be retried okay this ensures that we are starting with a clean state for each retry okay so over here i am basically constructing a new execution strategy that is execution strategy equal to new sql azure execution strategy and then i'm executing this strategy that is execution strategy dot execute okay and then i'm passing i'm basically passing this block see here inside this block i'm using the using construct in order to supply all my db operations as they have mentioned okay so all these records should be part of a transaction inside this using block then only entity framework core can easily retry all the failed transactions once again like a clean slate okay so this is what uh, we need to do over here okay guys so one way to create a new execution strategy which is using this class sql azure execution strategy but this can be automatically created and automatically decided which execution strategy needs to be used simply you need to do you need to put these two lines let me show that quickly see as you have your application specific uh, db context in my case it is school context so in order to create a strategy what i'm going to do is basically using see here or strategy is equal to the db context dot database object dot create execution strategy guys this will automatically create an execution strategy which is suitable for your user transaction okay two ways to do that i think this is the most preferred way in uh, entity framework core so please make use of this approach okay so you can use that two lines over here instead of uh, explicitly constructing a sql azure execution strategy so those two lines will automatically construct a appropriate strategy for you okay now once you ensure that all your transaction uh, okay the db operations associated with your transaction are inside a using block then yes the retrying will be enabled using the enabled retry mechanism also you can execute the user transactions okay so that's it basically but there are some challenges even after having this we may encounter the issue of transaction commit failure and the idem idem potency issue okay so this is what i'm going to explain in my next video how to avoid this commit failure related issues okay thank you for listening i hope you people understood the concept okay what are the various challenges we will go through when using the retry mechanism okay in entity framework core okay so thank you for listening have a nice day guys